and you'll be surprised when you hear what the experts have to say. If you've got a sore back, they're not offering a great deal of comfort. In New Zealand, there's been a backlash to back pain. And as you'll learn from top athlete Glenn Howard, you just have to get over it. QE2 Park, Christchurch. Glenn Howard is about to jump higher than any New Zealander has jumped before. 2.3 metres. And he has a handicap. An injured spine that's needed surgery. And back pain that almost ended Glenn's high jumping career. I yeah, said, so uh, what's going, what am I doing, you know? Can I ever win at this event? Is it going to go away? Is it... Because I'm, I'm sure high jump's not the best thing after you've had back surgery to do. My goal was always to be a high jumper. It was my dream to do that kind of thing. And I guess if you've got a dream, you can, um, you can look past the pain. Ever since he was 10, Glenn dreamed of being a champion high jumper. But years of training took its toll on his body. Two years ago, doctors found two stress fractures in his spine. Glenn was forced to give up high jumping for 10 months. But the pain just got worse. It's sort of a burning sensation, um, like a throbbing as well. It was all up my right side. I could feel a, the stiffness in my back. Um, yeah, even stretching it, it was like really tough. Felt like the muscles were going to rip off my back. Well, this procedure was basically designed for Glenn. Uh, knowing that he was a high jumper, I really wanted to try and preserve his uh, spine function. That's the, the ability to extend when he rolls over the, um, the bar. Mr. Graham Ingalls, the Christchurch surgeon who finally operated on Glenn 18 months ago after other therapies failed. He literally screwed Glenn's spine back together. Did you think he'd be able to jump as well as he had been jumping? No, no. My opinion and my uh, clear opinion when given to him was that he would probably never achieve the same level uh, of um, activity or high jumping as he had uh, prior to suffering these fractures. Glenn did jump again at a level even higher than before. But he still suffers back pain. The only way he copes is with an ongoing regime of therapy and exercise. So do you have it pretty much all the time? Yeah, pretty much. Um, sitting down for long periods of time brings it on. A lot, of, um, a lot of things do bring it on, but I'm getting to know what they are now. Back pain is um, the universal complaint. We all suffer from back pain just because Glenn's had an operation on his back does not mean that he will be free of back pain for the rest of his life. Uh, we all get back pain sooner or later. It's as sure as death and taxes. Back pain will strike almost all of us. And who wants to put up with it? We demand treatment and expect results. And if we can't work, it's been a given that ACC will pay for us to stay at home. It costs us $360 million a year, 20 cents out of every dollar paid out by ACC. Most of that goes to people who just can't get rid of back pain.